Okay, so this is a rundown of the church administrative policy. A policy is a document of response, a document of principles, a document that determine that tells you how an organization responds to administrative issues. Okay, that's what the policy manual does. So as a church, this gives you a framework on how to respond to all of the items I'm about to show you. And these are major things because if you don't respond appropriately, it will become a major distraction in your ministry. And trust me, distraction is the most powerful way to affect a church growth, right? So let me show you what it covers. Number one, it covers officers of the ministry. So you want to be able to know the qualification of the, of the officers, okay? The biblical qualification, the selection process. The, it talks about the ordination policy. What are the policies for ordination? Criteria for ordination, ordination process. It shows you what you go through before you are ordained in a ministry. It's a policy issue, okay? The article three talks about self-fellowship. How do we set it up? How do we run it? the heads of the ministry policy, the terms of leaders and renewal commitment. These are issues addressed by policy, not by emotions, okay? The part two talks about employment terms. What are the employment terms that you need to have that runs your ministry, okay? The policy, employment policy, the categories of employees, recruitment process, employment criteria, probation period, confirmation, you know, defining the roles of the, the, the national pastors, regional pastors, branch pastors, and all of that, the directorates. And you look at all of that under the employment policy, you have the general welfare, right? For individuals, for minimum furnishing for a pastor's house, right? How do you, what are the denied and on and delayed remunerations? Communication with high authority, how does it flow? Okay, you look at promotion. We want to promote somebody. What are the bases, right? What are the prospects? What qualifies you to be promoted? And what is the procedure? You look at how to structure your salary. How do we pay salary? And the, the, the full-time staff, the paid staff, and all of that. All of that comes to tell you, uh, your policy helps you address all of that. Job levels, bonuses, salary increment, staff appraiser, special, all of that. These are policy issues. Don't leave them to emotions, right? Article 4 talks of the policy of transfer of staff, categories, the location of transfer. How do you know who to send to where and what should they do? Secondment. You know what secondment is? It's just coming in to help you. What are the processes that uh, the policy addresses all of that? Sectoral transfer is more like moving someone from a sector in a ministry to another sector. How does it work? What are the policy that guides that process? You look at staff discipline. What does it mean to be disciplined? What is What does it mean to have a misconduct? How do you process that? The standing committee on discipline, how do it work? What makes up that committee? It's a deep document that drives your administration. The cessation of appointment. Well, at what point do we stop someone from working in church? You know, man of cessation the dismissal process, resignation, job abandonment. So people just stop coming to church uh, as workers. What do you do uh, when they are full-time workers? What are the processes and policy response to such matters in your ministry? Terminal benefits, if someone dies in church, what do you do if your staff dies? What are the policy that guides the church response to all of that? Now, if someone leaves church uh, as a work, uh, a full-time worker, and wants to come back, how do you handle that? That's the reabsorption of, reabsorption of staff, the objective for that, the procedure, and the conditions that guide it, the general rules that handle all of that. You have your staff leave, okay? What are the leave processes? Annual leave, leave periods, leave allowance, examination leave, maternity leave, casual, all the types of leaves for your full-time staff. You The policy handles that. Okay, Article 9 talks about staff training policy. What are your policy or training, right? Part 3 talks about housing and transport. So the housing policy, transmission policy, vehicle allowance and maintenance for your full-time staff. You look at your finance and budget. 
the policy of finance, okay? What's the objective, financial guideline, the budgeting and budgeting cycle, appropriation. Some ministries don't know how that works. Your policy will drive that for you. The branch executive council role in appropriating funds, authorized signatures, spending and approval limits, income and treasury matters. You look at all of that, the banking operations, payment processes, retirement. How do you fix all of this if you don't have a policy? Okay, the fixed asset management process. Well, how do you manage all of that? Preservation and disposal of the capital assets offering. All of that are policy issues. Do you even know what depreciation is? Usage of telephone, special materials and seed offering honorarium. You have a guest in your church. How do you handle the honorarium? All right, the accounting policy, uh, the investments, debt financing for the ministry. How do you pay salaries, staff emoluments? If a staff wants a loan, how do you handle it? Capital expenditure, you want to buy a generator. What is the process you go through? Reporting and reviews, the documentations you need for your um, financial budget and all of that. Look at your project. You have a project. It must be guided by policy, okay? What are the areas that are considered in the project, okay? These are things you want to consider, technical factors, that will affect your project. You want to put, make sure that those things are not left to emotions. They are, they are not hanging there. A policy will guide you on that. Okay, you look at all of those of uh, the financial factors that guides your 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 policy and all of that.
Okay. All right, so we are back here. You can see all of that uh, uh, processes covering from finance to family and all of that. We, 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 the statutory bodies, we also address the ministry missions, Deakin and Ministers Forum, partnership. Um, I was talking about the media, right? So a church should have a social media policy. What should be posted? What should not be posted? What are the processes you go through to verify and confirm a post before it is made? These are policies that must be done. You have the liturgies for sacraments. So these, these are the partners that detail based on your doctrines, right? Holy matrimony, nuptial blessings, funerals, baptisma, dedication of church building, all of that. Dedication of private building. How do you handle that? Housewarming, priestly invocation over uh, what is given as first fruit, marriage organizer. These are documents that will help you. Part 10 talks about the codes of conduct for ordained minister. Right. So this is like a summary of what the church administrative policy manual is. And you can get the template. We've built a template. It's over 200 pages addressing each of these items fully. All right. And we look through a lot of ministries and be able to come up with this document that can help pastors and ministers to solve administrative issues by driving policy. A few pastors that we're, work, we're working with right now is they, they got the template and then we are editing it to suit you know, what they want. I'll give an example. A pastor wanted to do housing allowance for his workers and he wanted to give them 70% of their rent, right? And then we gave the advice that, no, don't do that. Instead, make it part of their payment and they can request for it upfront. Because if you say 70% of your rent, the worker can go pick a house of 2 million. And that means you're going to pay 70% of that. So you need to be careful when you're developing your policy so that you are properly guided on how it should work, right? So that's a brief um, 